Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. I have really amazing blockbuster news for all of you guys. That's because Royal Enfield have just launched their first ever dual channel ABS model and the bike that you see right behind me is the one. So this is history in the making guys. Royal Enfield's first ever dual channel ABS motorcycle is here and I'm here to tell you everything that you need to know about these motorcycles. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Can't keep me down, lost my thoughts, feel like I could drown. No, no, can't have it now. Buried so deep, I'm below the ground. I go where I hear the sound, all on my own. I can feel the now, unknown. So my heart pounds, cause I don't understand what happens now. So this, my friend, is Royal Enfield's answer to all our fervent prayers. This is Royal Enfield's brand new range of motorcycles called Classic 350 Signals Edition. These are not just ordinary paint scheme updates, but this is history in the making because Royal Enfield, for the first time ever, are offering dual channel ABS with this all new range called Signals. This is something that all the loyal and hardcore RE fanboys have hoped for all along. So I guess the time of reckoning is here as Royal Enfield are offering dual channel ABS as standard and the best part is that they have chosen to do this first with their best selling model the classic 350. With this new signals edition the classic 350 comes dressed in a more classy vintage and powerful military attire that really oozes the true essence of Royal Enfield's association with the armed forces that spans over 65 years. The dimensions, the wheelbase, the ground clearance, tank capacity, everything is identical to that of the classic 350 so on paper it feels as if it's the same bike but believe me after riding this you'll understand that this new signals edition offers better ride feel better pickup better handling and the best braking performance that any royal enfield motorcycle has offered till date now royal enfield have been rocking the sales charts consistently because of sticking to what they believe in which is of course offering motorcycling in its purest form because this is what makes Royal Enfield motorcycles stand out among today's competition. The same essence of their design theme is carried forward for this new series as well, but it's only that this time around it's more powerful and impactful. Simple, classy, vintage styling has always been their forte, but the one thing that really touches your heart and moves your soul here is the theme of our very own brave and courageous Indian Armed Forces that defines this new signal series, which is why it all almost gives you goosebumps when you see the airborne blue color which is an ode to the Indian Air Force, our guardians in the sky keeping a close watch on the enemy and securing the airspace always. The IAF units have been using bullets since the 1960s for patrolling purposes. The Signals Edition is a tribute to the legacy of the resilient machines that have been serving in the Indian Army for several decades now and getting the same DNA in the production motorcycles is something we should take pride in as fellow Indians. The other variant is the Storm Rider Sand Color variant which has been built saluting the service of our very own Border Security Force. The Bullet 350 has been a trusted ally for the BSF since its inception back in 1965. Also, the famous military stunt team called the Daredevils have created numerous records astride their bullets. So these are two legendary and immortal themes that have been beautifully designed with impeccable craftsmanship and amazing attention to detail. Looking at the design enhancements, the headlamp gets a blacked out housing which looks great. The matte finish for both the variants looks very neatly done with superb finishing. The blacked out rims further add to the retro theme defining these motorcycles. The silencer is completely blacked out which serves as the ideal contrast element and further enhancing the looks is the blacked out engine. Now not only class but also exclusivity comes as standard with this new edition because each bike gets a unique serial number that is stenciled on the fuel tank which would make your bike stand out always. We also get a unique holograph on the tank that looks more classy and authentic. Apart from this Royal Enfield is also offering a number of accessories to further customize your motorcycle as per your preference. We get military panniers, pannier mounting kits, a windshield kit, an alloy wheel kit and a whole lot more. You can call the number mentioned on the screen currently to know about the booking details, the waiting period and other information about this new range of motorcycles. Now coming to the most important section, the powertrain. 
Powering this new signal edition is the same engine that powers the regular classic 350. We get a single cylinder air cooled 346 cc engine that puts out 19.8 bhp of max power at 5250 rpm and 28 Nm of max torque at 4000 rpm. We get a 5 speed gearbox. Now just as I mentioned before, though on paper the bike remains exactly the same, the ride feel has changed remarkably. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of any of the 350s from Royal Enfield. I've always loved the 500s more. The 350s, though they look beautiful and classy and offer amazing road presence, when it comes to riding pleasure, they never scored all that well because of the vibrations. But now, thankfully, I can say Royal Enfield have tried to address this issue in this new signals range. Now, though they haven't made any claims in the press release about this, I personally could feel a whole lot of difference while riding this bike. First of all, the bike feels lighter and easily flickable, though the weight on paper remains the same. Secondly, the initial pickup is more instant, which was never there earlier. The Classic 350 was more meant to be enjoyed riding with a relaxed state of mind, but this new signals range seems to offer a peppier performance. For the first time ever, I really enjoyed revving a Classic 350 and flicking it around in city traffic. Thirdly, in older models, it was always difficult to find the neutral, but that isn't the case now. The bike shifts neatly into neutral without any hassles. Fourthly, the vibrations. Let me tell you that the vibrations are still apparent in the lower RPMs even in this new model, but if you shift up early without holding the gear for long, you don't feel the vibrations creeping in. In fact, in the top gear while doing 60 to 70 km per hour, the vibrations are nearly non-existent, which is indeed something to rejoice about. It is only post 80 kilometers per hour that the vibrations start creeping in again now we've come to the most important part of this video which is the braking we get a 280 mm ventilated disc with two piston caliper up front and a 240 mm ventilated disc with single piston caliper at the back we now get dual channel abs as standard which means abs is operational both on the front wheel as well as the rear wheel which is an outstanding ploy from royal enfield instead of compromising and offering just single channel abs for those who aren't aware abs allows you to brake harshly under panic braking scenarios without running the risk of the wheels locking and the bike skidding. I could review this bike's braking performance in some challenging conditions with the road being slightly wet after a mild shower. As you can see here, the bike comes to a standstill in a matter of seconds in a very controlled manner without skidding. As it is, the Classic 350 is selling like crazy and now with the addition of dual channel ABS, I'm sure the sales numbers will skyrocket through the skies into the galaxies. Suspension wise, we get 35mm telescopic forks up front and twin gas charge shock absorbers with 5-step adjustability for preload at the back. The shocks are ideally damped to offer a comfortable ride through the city streets and they absorb all the undulations effortlessly. Talking about the tires, we get a 19-inch wheel and a 90 by 90 tire up front, while at the back we get an 18-inch wheel with a 110 by 80 tire. The larger wheels offer good high-speed stability and superb ride quality. Ground clearance is 135mm which is manageable in city conditions. You just need to be slightly watchful with the speed breakers if you are riding with a pillion on board. Seat height is 800mm which is ideally set to appeal to riders of all sizes. Tank capacity is 13.5 litres which is decent enough to offer good tank range. Mileage wise, as per my friends who own the Classic 350, we can expect close to 40 kmpl in city conditions which is pretty decent. Price deck showroom Hyderabad for the all new signals edition is Rs 1,48,841. Well that's pretty much it for now, I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao, take care, God bless and ride safe.